Representative Tatone. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I want to talk to you about Pride Month and what it means to me. Pride to me is the feeling of living your life without oppression. That's right. Without the oppression of not being given the job you're qualified for, the housing you're denied, the adoption or child you want to bring into your family, or marrying the person you love, or being denied your life and liberty unjustly. Pride is a lot like what people have with privilege and the thing they had their whole life. I know what privilege is like because I had it before I came out. Many of you will never know what it's like to lose your privilege or be oppressed, but some of you know it all too well. You see, there's a lot of intersectionality between LGBTQ people and people of color. And since that fateful night at Stonewall in June of 1969, when trans women of color and sex workers stood up for their human rights, the oppression was never really stopped. They had to rise up that night to save their own lives. And we were grateful they did because it started a movement. The system was rigged against them because they were different. It's still happening today. Whether you're trans, black, brown, queer, or a combination, it's still rigged against us. Today, police may not be ordered to push us out of the bars and out of the streets and back into the closets like before, but we're pushed out through policy. We're being stripped of our health care and our right to proudly serve our country, to use the bathroom, to play sports, and to live without fear of discrimination and violence. These policies not only serve to oppress us, they divide us. For too long, those in power reluctantly gave rights to people they didn't want to because they felt superior to them. They thought that anyone who didn't fit their mold is not afforded their humanity. People like me know that what pride is, and what pride is is knowing that the playing field is starting to level and that we're getting closer to removing the oppression that has plagued black, brown, gay, and trans communities over the years. Today, the Supreme Court decided that something that the LGBT community has always known, that the LGBT community should not and cannot be discriminated against by their employers. Despite the win, the ruling was 6-3, which reminds us that even today, after 50 years since the Stonewall Uprising, we still have a lot of progress to make. Pride to me is the work being done in legislative chambers like these, which change people's lives for the better. I'm proud to be the first transgender person in the Colorado General Assembly, and I will be proud of those who follow in my footsteps because of those who fought and died for our rights before I got here. Happy Pride Month, everyone.